What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Holly JT. And I'm here with Dwayne talking about Washington Redskins football. He's going to be breaking down the roster, the training camp news, and everything we need to know about the Washington Redskins and give us a little pre- preview of their preseason game. So, Dwayne, what is the most interesting storyline coming from the Washington Redskins camp so far? Um, honestly, the one that I say probably most interesting right now is just how the running back situation is going to play out. It's also at wide receiver. Um, the Redskins are very deep at wide receiver. More, I think they have more depth than people actually think. Um, obviously, you know, Paul Richardson and Josh Dotson on the outside, James Crowder in the slot, but there is a big possibility that you do see, um, Trey Quinn make it on this, on the roster as that fourth wide receiver. Um, and either Brian Quick or Maurice Harris, um, that ended up off the team. Um, at running back, again, like I stated before, uh, a couple months ago, uh, I'd be shocked if they cut Rob Kelly or P. Ryan. Um, so I expect Washington to keep four running backs, um, over there as well. Um, it's been interesting. I went to the training camp, um, two, two weeks in a row, I went to the training camp and, they look and the running backs look phenomenal. Uh, especially guys, guys said he shows, he's shown the hands, he's shown the, the pass blocking ability. So ex- expect to see, uh, a lot of those Redskins running backs to get reps throughout the preseason. Um, what is the status of Jordan Reed? Um, Jordan Reed is full go. Um, now I don't know right now his preseason action is probably going to be limited. Um, but you're, I expect Jordan Reed to be full go come regular season. Uh, he's looked great um, since I've seen him out there. Um, footwork cutting, he, you know, he's right now, he's, as he said, he's trying to work himself back into more of a football shape. But he looks great. He's, um, he looks like the old Jordan Reed out there running his route. So, uh, obviously, everybody knows a healthy Jordan Reed is a top three tight end in the NFL. Yeah, what are still the question marks that we have? Um, question marks that around, if I'm looking at the just roster wise, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if you had saw it, but Jay Gruden came out and said when he looks at the roster, he doesn't see any glaring weaknesses. With him saying that, I say this. to speak to Alex Smith. And I said, I expect y'all to win 10. He says, I don't expect us to win 10. I really, he said, I truly believe that we can win 12. So, I, I, do I think they're going to win 12? Probably not. But I think this is a 10-win team and the, and the roster all the way through. They're not that many weaknesses. And what about the position for the defensive line, Dabby? Uh, defensive line. So, you have um, it's pretty, if I'm being honest with you, you're starting It's really pretty much set with those the set first string and second string. 
The only person that's really trying to fight for that second string spot is Kim Settle in uh, Sir Taylor. And who do you guys plan in preseason? And what should everybody look out for during this preseason game tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow during the preseason game against the Patriots, I would expect to see the one person who in particular that I want to see that to actually be disruptive in the short in the short amount of time that he may get. I want to see guys actually show just the footwork and just the awareness of the in the vision that he showed in college. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for to see the receiver the running backs actually show me the pass catching ability. Um I'm not the second string wise, you know, there's a one person who I want to see succeed, but I think he might end up on the practice squad. It's going to be uh Apti, um, who we drafted in, in in the sixth round for Penn State. So I mean there's certain people that I want to see um get you know, get work. But all in all, um I think it's you're gonna see a lot of these receivers try to show out over in, in here at Washington tomorrow. Just for the fact that they have uh, a lot of these receivers trying to make the team and it looks like they're only going to keep five, so it's going, it's going to be very interesting tomorrow to see who's going to be fighting for these jobs. Now, I have two, three more questions before I let you go. So, with the backup quarterback position, um, I think it's probably one of the most overlooked things going into the season because you never know, because injuries happen all the time, and you always want to know who the guy is going to be next up in case your starting quarterback gets injured. So, is it a lock of who's the number two quarterback on the roster right now, or is it a quarterback battle going on? Absolutely, it's a lock. It's Coach's job. I mean, that's that's not a question. I, yeah, I know. I understand the rest is traded for Kevin Hogan, but that is Colt McCoy's job. They just gave him another year for a contract. That's Jay Gruden's um, go-to guy for the backup position. Um, so he knows the offense. He's been in the offense for since what, the 2015. So he's. It's, it's his job. Um, Kevin Hogan will be the the um, number three quarterback on the roster if they decide to keep three. Okay, so good to have you on, Dwayne. I look forward to hearing from you in the future, and thanks for coming on and giving us some information on the Washington Redskins. Right, thank you, and have a good one. You too.